Welcome to morning prayer on Tuesday, May 3rd, and the commemoration of SS Philip and James. Call our names, Lord. Call us as you called Saul, when we are traveling in the wrong direction, when we are breathing threats, when our hearts are full of evil intent. Speak to us in unexpected voices and set us on a new path. Call our names, Lord. Call our names, Lord. Call us as you called Ananias to be an instrument of healing, to be agents of change, to speak truth to power, even when we are fearful of the cost. Give us trust in your sending. Call our names, Lord. Call our names, Lord. Call us as you called the disciples and invited them for breakfast, even though they did not recognize you. Help us to see that there will be enough food for everyone if we persist through the long night of waiting, if we take the risks of faith and sharing to reach the abundance of daybreak. Call our names, Lord. Call our names, Lord. Call us as you called Simon Peter and asked for his love, then told him to feed and tend your people. May we see the connection between love of you and love of your people, that we, may, we too may feed and be fed and follow you. Call our names, Lord. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Here are words you may trust. Remember Jesus Christ, risen from the dead. He is our salvation our eternal glory. If we die with him, we shall live with him. If we endure, we shall reign with him. If we deny him, he will deny us. If we are faithless, he keeps faith. For he has broken the power of death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in, in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You are righteous, O Lord, and upright are your judgments. You have issued your decrees with justice and in perfect faithfulness. My indignation has consumed me because my enemies forget your words. Your word has been tested to the uttermost, and your servant holds it dear. I am small and of little account, yet I do not forget your commandments. Your justice is an everlasting justice, and your law is the truth. Trouble and distress have come upon me, yet your commandments are my delight. The righteousness of your decrees is everlasting. Grant me understanding that I may live. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Job. Then Job answered, Today also my complaint is bitter. His hand is heavy despite my groaning. Oh, that I knew where I might find him, that I might come even to his dwelling. I would lay my case before him and fill my mouth with arguments. I would learn what he would answer me and understand what he would say to me. Would he contend with me in the greatness of his power? No, but he would give heed to me. There an upright person could reason with him and I should be acquitted forever by my judge. If I go forward, he is not there or backward, I cannot perceive him. On the left he hides, and I cannot behold him. I turn to the right, but I cannot see him. But he knows the way that I take. When he has tested me, I shall come out like gold. My foot has held fast to his steps. I have kept his way and have not turned aside. I have not departed from the commandment of his lips. I have treasured in my bosom the words of his mouth the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
I will sing to the Lord, for he is lofty and uplifted. The horse and its rider has he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my savior. This is my God, and I will praise him. The God of my people, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a mighty warrior. The Lord is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh and his army has he hurled into the sea. The finest of those who bear arm or, ha or who or have been drowned in the Red Sea. The, fath the, fathom the fathomless deep has overwhelmed them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in renown, and worker of wonders? You stretched forth your right hand. The earth swallowed them up. With your constant love, you led the people you redeemed. With your might, you brought them in safety to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them on the mount of your possession, the resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the Gospel of John. The next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He found Philip and said to him, follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, we have found him about whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus, son of Joseph, Nazareth. Nathanael said to him, can anything come good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, come and see. When Jesus saw Nathanael coming towards him, he said of him, here is truly an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael asked him, where did you come to know me? Jesus answered, I saw you under the fig tree before Philip called you. Nathanael replied, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus answered, do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than these. And he said to him, very truly, I tell you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Christ suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his steps. He committed no sin, no guile was found on his lips. When he was reviled, he did not revile in turn. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but he trusted himself to God who judges justly. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed for you were straying like sheep, but have now returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, 
and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, who gave to your apostles, Philip and James, grace and strength to bear witness to the truth. Grant that we, being mindful of their victory of faith, may glorify in life and death the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. In these early days after the resurrection, we wonder what it all means. We can relate to the women who fled the tomb with terror and amazement. We understand Thomas and his need for proof that would come only by touching the wounds and seeing the nail marks. We understand the fear and confusion that kept the disciples in the shadow cast by closed doors. We also keep company with the travelers on the Emmaus Road who felt the strange burning of the truth and hope and love weaving into the sadness that consumed them on their walk. We find ourselves in the eternal movement between fear and faith doubt and conviction, wonder and worry, and we trust that you are present with us, O oh God. We trust that, like the disciples, we will be able to stand and tell the whole message about this life, that love is stronger than hate, life has the final word over death, beyond what we can see with our eyes. There is a bond of humanness that draws and keeps us together. We watch with anxiety as Eastern Europe reverberates with new tensions and the fragile lines between Russia, Ukraine and the worldwide community is strained as the world is pulled into war. In the midst, there are also voices of reason and peace. Perhaps they speak in whispers, but they speak nonetheless. May those whispers rise to shouts that proclaim the way forward with words and not weapons. As the machines of greed and war trample the world and its peoples, we remember that there are seeds of justice and love and goodness and grace that are planted and watered every moment of every day. We give thanks for those who rise early in the morning to prepare food at countless soup kitchens around the world, search the night streets for lost children and shepherd them to places of safety, keep watch amidst the sick and dying in countless hospitals and in countless places, speak words of compassion in the face of hate. It is a complicated and frightening world Strengthen us as we stand and bear witness to this whole life, the life of the risen one, even Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. If the God who raised Jesus from the dead is for us, who dare be against us? We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Step out into the world in humble and confidence, in humble confidence. There is nothing about to happen that God has not foreseen and no situation where Christ will not be there ahead of you, preparing a place and an opportunity for you. Thanks be to God. The peace of God that goes beyond all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge of God and of Jesus Christ, God's son, and the blessing of God, all loving, the creator, Redeemer and Counselor will be with us now and always. Amen.